Um, hello, everyone. Um, my husband, Michael, and I have a pig farm and a farm at Young. We run sheep, cattle, and have a cropping operation, but our main game is pigs. We have 2,200 sows, which means at any point we have 25,000 pigs on hand. We have two different sites. Um, it's all on one farm, but two separate piggery sites. One's a breeder site and the other where we grow out our pigs. Um, in the last five years, we've doubled our size. Our pigs are fed with a liquid feed system. Um, this allows us to use a lot of waste products, um, a lot of liquid waste products that other people um, can't use. Last year, we used 8 million litres of waste dairy product. Some of that is delivered in tankers and some of it is delivered in 200 mil yoghurt containers. We've built our own unpacking plant. We have three of our 25 staff work permanently unpacking dairy product to feed our pigs. The, ki the pigs and my kids love chocolate milk. Um, any excuse to show some photos of our lovely pigs? We have recently built a methane digestion system at both our sites. Uh, normally methane is released from anaerobic decomposition of manure in settling ponds. A methane digestion system captures this gas and burns it, turning the methane into carbon dioxide. Methane has a global warming potential of 21. This means it's 20 times more harmful than carbon dioxide. To start this system, we have constructed two dams, one at each site. This dam is at our grower site. It's 100 metres long, 50 metres wide and 6 metres deep. It holds 15 megalitres. And that, if you can see, is an excavator in the bottom of the dam, not a matchbox toy. Um, after this, we filled it with manure and then put the cover on top. This photo was taken during the uh, installation of the cover. It shows the trench around the outside of the pond. Um, the cover goes into the trench and then is filled with um, soil to hold down the cover. Um, the manure never reaches the top of the, the bank here um, and that uh, ducting is what, what pulls the gas out of the pond. Uh, here's a picture of the cover on. This was um, during installation. Those guys are very brave, standing on 15 megalitres of pig manure. Um, um, and, and this weighting system down the middle has been a bit of trial and error. This is a uh, lay flat hose that we filled with water um, to hold down the cover. Um, we topped up the water and um, plugged the hose into our piggery water system. It had a bit too much pressure and it stretched all the seams in the hose and ruined it. So um, this is version number two. Uh, it's a large PVC pipe with the ends capped, uh, full of water. Um, and as you can see with the gas underneath, we need something to hold it down to stop it blowing away. Um, so far, so good. Um, the pig manure comes from the sheds in the background. It's um, flushed from underneath the pigs in the sheds every day and drains into this dam. From here, the, um, the manure stays, or the, the pond holds about 50 days worth of pig manure storage. Um, and then the liquid manure comes out this end of the dam um, and goes into our existing effluent system. The drain maintains the same level of the dam, stopping it getting into the gas um, piping. The solid manure that accumulates in the bottom of the dam is um, then there's a great big pipe that goes through the dam wall down to the deepest point of the dam and we stick a pump down through that pipe and um, pump the manure out. Uh, we weren't certain that was going to work. It has worked um, and again it's been so far so good. The manure in our um, existing effluent system is then dried and we spread the solid manure on our paddocks um, as wonderful free fertiliser. On our farm we don't buy any synthetic fertiliser, we just use pig manure. Okay. Each of our ponds has a, has a flare. This is just for backup. Um, if our generators fail or if we've got them turned off for maintenance, we can burn gas um, using this flare. Um, normally the gas will go from the pond into a scrubber that takes out any impurities out of the gas and turns it into um, a more concentrated methane. It also goes into a chiller which cools the gas. Um, the gas is quite warm when it comes out of the pond and takes any condensation out. 
um, it then goes up to the generator. We have three of these 80 kilowatt generators. They are containerized to reduce the noise and to allow for easy transport. Um, we have two at our grower site, these ones, and one at our breeder site. We like the idea of having three if one breaks down and we have to take it somewhere for repairs. We've got a, a sort of backup, I guess. Um, and our plan was in summer we have more gas because more gas is generated in the heat was that we'd run three of our generators in the summer and probably only run two in the winter. Um, we've under budgeted on the gas. We've got more gas than we imagine or we um, budgeted for. So the reality is we could probably run four of these in the summer and three in the winter. This is the gen set. Please no questions about how this works. That's not my uh, field. Um, it's a converted diesel engine. It's coupled to a generator. Uh, the whole system is computer controlled. We can see it on our computer at home and on our mobile phones. It sends a text message to my husband if it stops or alarms. Um, my husband will get up in the middle of the night to, to fix the generator, but he still manages not to hear our kids. Um, in the past, we have used a lot of LPG gas to heat our little pigs. We no longer use any of this um, gas. We capture the waste heat from the generator using a heat exchanger, which is attached to the generator's exhaust. It heats a hot water tank. The hot water is then reticulated through the pig sheds um, and, oops, wrong button, and um, into um, hot water runs in this orange pad underneath and provides a nice warm lying in environment for our um, little pigs, which has added, added to the savings. Um, our system is fairly simple. It's cheap to run and it's fairly labour free. In a good week, it takes us less than an hour to keep the system going. If we have breakdowns, it's sometimes a bit more than that. It has proved that other more complicated and expensive models are unnecessary. Um, every day, we destroy 2,400 cubic metres of methane. This is the equivalent of 32 tonnes of less of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere and we have the ability to earn 32 carbon credits every day. Because of all these wonderful things, we are eligible under the Carbon Farming Initiative. Australian Pork Limited, our industry body, was very proactive and um, developed the methodology. Uh, they were one of the first methodologies to be proved under the Carbon Farming Initiative. It's called the methodology for destruction of methane generated from manure in piggeries. Um, we're lucky that our project falls very neatly within this method methodology. Our business was the second business in Australia to have an approved project. This has earned us our five minutes of fame. Um, our first generator to be commissioned has now done 8,000 hours. We are using 40% of the power produced um, on site and we sell the excess. Our power and gas bill combined was $15,000 a month. That has now reduced to us being paid $6,000 for selling excess electricity. Um, the savings for us was not in having um, power to sell, but in not buying power. When we buy electricity, it costs us 20 cents a kilowatt. When we sell it, we get paid 5 cents a kilowatt. Um, we are also able to claim large generation credits for um, producing renewable energy. Our main reasons for doing this project were financial, um, but we were very pleased and love the positive environmental effects that it has as well. And lastly, my kids are thrilled to have their own super-sized jumping castle. <laughs> Thank you for listening to me and I have one more um, moment of your time I would like to take up. Oh, hello. I can't believe her. Oh. She's just moved in, she's being neighbourly. Mm. You know, she poked him. Really? <laughs> she poked the whole neighbourhood. <coughs> mm -hmm. An authentic Italian spag bowl tastes better with pork mitts. So, if you really want to impress, get some pork on your fork. So, hopefully tonight you'll all get some pork on your fork. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>